In a haze with sadness, hurt, and anger, I look back over the tangled scope of our lives, Kippy. I've known you for 30 years, and from a distant view, I've wondered about you and how from your hiding place you swoop down and into my heart. Over the years, I've watched you with trepidation, misgivings, curiosity, uncertain of who you were, of why this was. And then I learned to love it and you. Drunk, I drink you in and savor the multitude of you. Sweet, bitter, sour, savory you. I began to await August with bated breath, longing for those days and nights and years where you, meeting the demands of demanding artists who grew fat on your kindness as you meant them to do, and then grew angry because they did. For you, for Kippy Can, I long for the gathering of friends and enemies alike, for presentations and performances, cocktails and dinners, for the insights and the arts, displays and discussions, for tables laden with food, food fit for kings and for the picky, for lobsters and popovers, butter and jam. From you, I gather traditions and I receive many gifts. There was no end to your generosity, but it had its limits and we both knew it. I lie here in a haze. I lie here wondering about you and wondering how in the world does one measure a life? Do you measure it in inches, feet, yards, or in miles walked, walked over and struggled through the terrain, down dark alleyways, or over mountains and woods, or over defeats and victories, large or small, over dreams imagined or hopes dashed, over forgotten territory and through rough terrain, over stars and moons and moonbeams and into twilight. How do you measure a life? Over the years, over yesterday, over today, or over the struggle, over the forgotten, over the remembered. I think of all the near misses, the exhaustion. I think of the ability and the inability to endure. By what means do you measure a life? And so we all came, again and again and again and year after year. From the first to the last and all that was in between. From the artists coming from near and far, the designers and the architects, the profane and the wanton, to the mothers and the fathers and the partners coming with their children red-faced and crying, their teens swinging into their moods. They came as dancers and singers, composers and chemists, individuals and institutions, curators and collectors, directors and doctors, large and small. They came as drunks and teetotters, the famous and the not so famous, 
the traditionalists and the radicals, the sinners and saints, the chaste, the paper tigers, the aerialists and the acrobats, flashers and dashers. And each time, with open arms, you embraced us, disliked us, wanted us, and then, of course, welcomed us, expecting everything and nothing, all and nothing at all.